Let's talk now about expanding clips in the timeline in order to allow you to manipulate the audio separately from the video. And the first thing I want to talk about in that regard is split edits, which is one of the most common ways that you'll manipulate your audio separately from your video. In fact, I would say that this is the sort of thing that you really want to be considering on every edit in your movie, whether it's dramatic, documentary, or whatnot. It is an incredibly powerful tool, especially in the service of hiding your edits, to overlap the audio with the video. And what I mean by that is to either pre-lap your audio so you start to hear the sound before the picture arrives, or you see the or or to extend the sound so you continue hearing the sound into the following shot. And again, this is something that's done very, very commonly by professional editors in every sort of scene, in dialogue scenes, in action scenes, in documentary scenes. It's very, very common to 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 do that. And, and I would argue that part of the reason for this is because when you if you hear the sound change at the same time that the picture changes, that draws a tremendous amount of effort to that cut point. And most of the time, our goal is to hide our edit points. And so if the audio is changing at a different point than the video is changing, it enables you to accentuate or, or rather to hide, to, to unaccentuate that edit point and make the, you know, the transition of the, the sound happens organically while the visual is consistent. And then the transition of the video happens while the sound is being continuous. So it really allows you to smooth and hide your edits. And because it's such a common thing, Final Cut Pro has a, a tool or a way of working that is intended to make that easy. So first of all, let's let's expand these clips a little bit. I'm going to just make the audio a little bit larger, just make the picture, the whole thing a little bit larger so we can see what we're working with here. And again, I've just got a, a simple dialogue example here. And it's not maybe the perfect example, but it it should help somewhat. And just play this for a second. Hey, little girl. And he also agrees to go to the racetrack with you. It might be a clue. That was a terrible choice. No, no, I had a great time. All right, so the, a couple little edits in this little dialogue scene, and each of these can be improved with a little bit of audio manipulation. So first of all, you can see here that my audio is over-modulating. See that little yellow in the waveform over here, and then it touches the red. These little lines right here. What a girl. You may not be able to hear it that clearly in the in the course of listening, but the indicator here is showing me that those levels are too high. And we're going to come back and talk about how to control your audio levels. But this is also there's also a little edit here, right? It's a little tricky of an edit to go from we're going over her shoulder to her face, and that and we're cutting. We're going from one take to another, and so this would be a lot more organic if we were hearing one continuous take all the way through. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the audio, and you see what happens is it expands. And let's do it to this clip, too. In this clip, I won't do the double clicking. I'll do it from the menu. Go to the clip menu and choose Expand Audio Video or press Control S. And that will expand the audio video. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag just the audio to back that up a little bit. And it looks like this one's pretty hot, too. But we'll fix that later. Um, but in any event, what we've got here now is now it's going to overlap a little bit. Hey, little, little girl, girl in heels agrees to go to the right because we've got both tracks playing. But let's now turn off this first one, just like that, and let's hear it now. Be sure. Hey, when a girl in heels agrees to go to the racetrack with you. And see, it's a, it's a much more smooth edit now. What we've done basically by cre by using one take continually, starting over her shoulder, where we can't really see the details of her lips moving anyway. So it works really nicely, and and it flows into that clip. And what we have here, this is typically called a, a J cut because it sort of looks like the letter J. Uh, if you don't see that, don't worry about it. The alternative is uh, when you extend the audio on the other side, if I was to pull this out, that edit would be an L cut because it looks a little bit like the letter L. Anyway, the, if you hear those terms L and J cut, that's what those mean. I'm just going to undo that for now. And so when we've got our split edit the way we want it, I'm going to just double click those again to collapse them. And you see now that that dim area is showing us that that area has been un, is not used in the audio. Um, but you can kind of forget about it now. That's the beautiful thing is once you set your split edits, you can sort of forget about it and, the, and it will play properly. It'll still, you know. Hey, when a girl in heels agrees to go to the race. Right. So you've got that smooth edit, but you don't need to see all that. You don't need to take up the timeline space with all those extra tracks.